Yeah, we, it is a practice problem from introduction to trigonometry and we have to find sin A and sac A where we are given 16 cot A equals to 8 and basically we will use some trigonometric identities and trigonometric ratios to calculate this sin A and sac A and what we are given 16 cot A equals to 8. Here we can have two approach either we draw a right angle triangle and find the ratios over here or we can use trigonometric identities. We will go through trigonometric identities. In our earlier video we have seen that cos x square a minus cot square a that is equals to 1. Now here 16 cot a equals to 8 therefore cot a equals to what? That is 8 upon 16 this is what comes out to be half and we will substitute this value over here and we will get cos x square a minus half square that is equals to 1 cos x square a minus 1 upon 4 this is 1 taking 1 over 4 over here to the right hand side we get cos x square a equals to 1 plus 1 upon 4 that comes out to be 5 upon 4. Now this cos x a equals to under root of 5 upon 4 that is root 5 upon 2. This is the value for cos x, but we have to find the value of sin a and cos a. Now, what is cos a? E? Cos a e equals to 1 upon sin a. That means sin a equals to 1 upon cos a. That, that means sin a equals to 1 upon cos a. E. This comes out to be reciprocal of this to under root. This is the answer for sin A. Now we have to find sac A. What is sac A? Sac A is basically 1 upon cos A. Either we can find cos A or we can calculate from this cot A. We know that cot A equals to cos A upon sin A. Now cos A will be cot A into sin A. Now what is cot A? Cot A is basically half and sin A we have calculated over here. Now cos A equals to cot A into sin A. This is what cot A is half and sin a is 2 upon root 5 this comes out to be 1 upon root 5 1 upon root 5 now we have to find what sac a now sac is sac a equals to 1 upon cos a now cos a is 1 upon root 5 substituting over here sac a is equals to 1 upon 5 this is root 5 that is sac a is equals to root 5 upon 1 this is the answer.